very good uh, discussions, very high level discussions, uh, good suggestions uh, on ways to preserve the tropical forests while uh, keeping uh, economic uh, growth uh, sustainable for all these countries. So I, I think, you know, also uh, due uh, consideration for agriculture, which plays an important role, and also how to reconcile uh, agriculture in the areas which have already been cleared with forest conservation and uh, economic activity uh, on standing forests. Well, I think the main uh, the main message is it's possible to have a viable uh, new green economy for tropical forests that goes beyond a purely conservation mode which is to set aside huge areas for conservation purely for conservation uh, a mixed model in which Conservation is an important element, but it's not the only one. And in fact, uh, areas for conservation set aside are very important for the future of, of biology, for the future of the planet. However, you can't put forests to good economic use, still keep them standing. Uh, and this is possible. Technology and science uh, can help in pursuing this new model of development. Well, uh, reducing climate change is basically uh, keeping the forest, uh, perhaps even using new forests to reclaim degraded land. So there has to be economic means for these people to be there, keeping the forest, but also to obtain their income, their jobs, their quality of life. There are many innovations. Uh, I can just, uh, for brevity, mention two. Uh, one, the Amazon has plenty of water. So one is use aquaculture to develop uh, systems for producing uh, fish, for food, but also to produce fish for aquariums. There is a tremendous multi-billion dollar market today so these people are, if they're trained if there is investments in human capital there is a lot of opportunities for producing fish and other aquatic animals mm -hmm. sustainably that's yeah. very important not predatory uh, fishing or overfishing so this is a tremendous value there this is one possibility uh, not totally exploited in, in in the amazon as a whole the other one is picking uh, forest products which have already entered mainstream uh, bioindustries. Acai is one example. There are many, many others. Industrial oils, uh, 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 base inputs for cosmetics, for food products. So uh, the, the people living in the forests, they can be the original producers of these products, but also and very important, using the best knowledge. So it's not extractivism. I, I don't want to give the idea that ex extractivism is viable. It's very difficult to develop an economy. Though this is not extractivism, it's really production. So it's a mixed biodiversity-based agronomy model still to be developed further in which these people would have, uh, they would cultivate some of this uh, trees and other uh, biodiversity-based products and they would add value so they would not sell raw and then they would be connected to to the world through through IT so they will have their own companies they will own small-scale bio companies and uh, so th they will have the income of middle class